back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jocelyn. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you'll consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume and other fun stuff. Today, I'm really excited to bring you my rundown of the Aqua de Joya series from Giorgio Armani. So I recently picked up most of the series featured in a recent haul and I wanted to share my thoughts on these fragrances with you in case you're interested in any of them. So I'm going to go in chronological order, starting with the one that came out first and then work my way to the most recent release. Starting with Aqua de Joya. So this is a beautiful fragrance. I really love this. This is considered a floral aquatic and it came out in 2010. And part of what really sold me on these fragrances is the bottles. I love this bottle design. I think it's so beautiful and classy and elegant. And I really love this one. I actually picked this one up on Mercari, so it's not a full bottle, but close enough. Um, so this is the 3.4 ounce. And this one, it's considered a floral aquatic, and I think that's a very accurate description. It's very fresh and beautiful, but you get those floral elements. And so it's, I think all of these are really good for summer. So this is just a stunner. And and the nose behind this fragrance, there are three, Lock Dong, Anne Flippo, and Dominique Robion. So some pretty big names in perfume there. And so this is a gorgeous fragrance. I really love this one. And this was the first one that came out. And then in 2016, they came out with three. And one of them is Sun de Joya. I just have this half, I believe this is a half ounce bottle. This one is discontinued and unfortunately kind of hard to find. I really like it. This is the most summery to me. This is the most kind of sunscreen. This really gives me a sunscreen vibe. It's considered an amber floral but this gives me that kind of coconutty sunscreen vibe that I really love in summer. And it's a gorgeous fragrance. And this actually reminds me a lot of Beach Walk from Maison Margiela, the replica line. And I think there are quite a few fragrances that are kind of in this sunscreeny, beautiful summer floral category, like Beach Walk and Miami Glow from Jennifer Lopez is another one, but I really like Sun de Joya. It's a gorgeous summer fragrance. Also in 2016, they came out with Air de Joya, and this one is this one is considered a sheep floral, and to me, I get a really salty vibe with this one. So this is a very salty summer fragrance, very aquatic to me. Um, even though it's inspired by air, to me, it reminds me of the seashore air. It's it's like walking on a beach. So Sun de Joya is kind of the sunscreen, and this one is kind of that salty beach ocean air to me and it's gorgeous. I really like this one. This is a 1.7 ounce bottle that I got on Mercari. So you can get these on FragranceNet. Most of them are still available and they're on FragranceNet, Fragrance X, Fragrance Buy usually. I, like I said, I really love these bottles and I, <laughs> there is another style of bottle that has a slightly different cap and I really didn't want any of those. So I was very specific in what I was looking for when I was shopping for these and I wanted this particular type of cap. So that's just me. Anyway, Air de Joya, very gorgeous. And then finally in 2016, they came out with Sky de Joya. So this is a little one ouncer that I got on Ulta and Sky is considered a floral fruity. And to me, this is very peony. This is very floral, beautiful in spring and summer. This one gives me very floral vibes. So I love that it's in the pink. I think that's perfect for this one. It's beautiful. It's a really nice, very pleasant floral fruity fragrance. It's nothing very groundbreaking, but I do like it. I think it's pretty. And in 2019, they came out with Light de Joya. This is considered a floral woody musk. And to me, I get sweet white florals with this one. Um, this is a 3.4 ouncer that I bought on Mercari. And this one reminds me slightly of Gucci Bloom Gucci di Fiore, which is one of my current favorite fragrances. I really love that. I, I think I have to say I like the Gucci more than this one. I do like this. It's pretty, but I really love Gucci Bloom Gucci di Fiore. That's one of my current favorites for that kind of summery, beautiful floral fragrance. So I get a lot of sweet white florals with this one. I think the Gucci one might not be quite as sweet, and that may be why I like it more. But this is pretty. And then finally in 2020, we've got Ocean de Joya, which is this is considered a floral fruity. The noses behind this one are Mary Pierre, Julienne, and Sonia Constant. And this is a one ounce bottle I bought on Ulta. 
well, I got it with my Ulta points. Actually, both of these I got with my Ulta points, which was kind of nice. The one ounces retail for $61, which is, you know, kind of affordable. Um, but this one is interesting because it's a citrus to me. And even though it's called Ocean de Joya, it doesn't give me as much ocean vibe as air and sun. Air and sun give me much more of an ocean vibe than Ocean de, jo ocean de Joya does. So I can't quite explain that, but it's a nice fragrance. I do enjoy it. This one maybe reminds me a little bit of Moschino's I Love Love. It's a pretty citrus. It's nice. It's um, very refreshing and easy reach kind of a fragrance. So that's Ocean, came out in 2020. And now I'm going to share with you my favorites and what order they would be in from most favorite to least favorite. So my most favorite, I have to say, is Sun de Joya. And I don't know if that's just because it's hard to find now, but I really love this kind of coconutty, really beachy vibe. So this one is just, it just reminds me of the sun and the beach and it's beautiful. And I really love this one. I think it's fabulous. And then my second favorite is the original Aqua de Joya. I just think this is such a, this is such a beautiful blend of citrus and floral and fruit. And it's just a really well-rounded, gorgeous fragrance. And I can just see wearing this a lot during the summer. Also these, these I think layer really well with other things. They layer well with each other and different body sprays and lots of different things. So this is my second place. Third place, I chose Air because this is the salty one. I love a salty fragrance. And actually I layered this, I have a travel spray of salt from Ellis Brooklyn and I wore this one day and I layered it with salt and it was so, so beautiful. And I can't remember what body, I used a body spray too that day. But anyway, it's a gorgeous fragrance. I love this one. I just really love that beachy kind of vibe in the summer. So air is really a very salty, beautiful fragrance. And then I would choose sky as my next favorite after this. It's just a really nice floral. It's very peony centric and it goes really nicely with my Bath and Body Works Perfect Peony Body Spray. It's a very beautiful fragrance and I do like this one. So this would be my next favorite. Then after that one, I would choose Ocean de Joya. Ocean is very nice. Like I said, it's very citrusy. It's not the most oceanic to me of the bunch, but I really like this one. And it is in second to the last place, but I still do like it. And then in last place, I've got Light de Joya. So I do like this, it's not bad, but it's that like very sweet white floral, which I do like, but I, it's a little, maybe a little bit too sweet for my taste. I'll still wear it, but it's of these, I would say it's probably my least favorite. So I do like it, but compared to the other ones, this one runs in last place. So I found out that they are, and I think that's kind of what sparked my little um, quest to buy all of these fragrances was seeing Arlene from Delicious Delights recent new perfumes video that she does this great series where she talks about new releases and she featured Terra de Joya, which is coming out this year. And that's gonna be new in this line. And Terra means earth. I believe in Italian, so T-E-R-R-A. And so I believe that one will be a more earthy vibe to it, but um, you know, I haven't gotten my nose on that one yet. I'm definitely on the hunt for it. But anyway, I would love to hear your comments down below. Have you tried any of these? What's your favorite? Which ones do you love? Which ones do you not care for? I'm really interested in your feedback on this line and your thoughts on this line. So thank you so much for being here today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks so much.